It's often at holiday get-togethers when families first notice loved ones showing signs of dementia. The discovery can be frightening and overwhelming. So tonight, Pam Elliott is on your side with the story of one family at home with a patient who suffers, a parent who suffers from Alzheimer's. Jonathan May makes himself at home as he prepares breakfast for a man he just met three to four months ago. Is it good? May works for senior helpers. He was matched with 89-year-old Bob Mudhank because of his size. Mudhank suffers from Alzheimer's, but he's still pretty strong. And when he becomes combative, it's more than his daughter can handle. I originally thought I would quit my job and stay home 24-7. I think you learn pretty quickly that maybe you don't want to do that. Joe Madewell says senior helpers cost her about half what a nursing home would cost. But she says the decision to care for her father at home really has more to do with what's best for him. I'm fortunate because I'm, I've kept my job and I still get to have my dad at home and take care of him. And, and you know, he, he sleeps and he, you know, but he, he has uh, lively moments and he laughs at things and, you know, he still has recognition and he, you know, so I, it's fulfilling too. I mean, it has been fulfilling. Madewell and her husband do get to have date nights every other Saturday with May's help. And how does May cope with the challenges of being a caregiver? And it does get to you mentally, like it stresses you out. But I take it home with me and leave it at home. I don't bring it back because it's not his fault because he could, he went off one day, spit in my face, and I said, Bob said, don't spit in my face. He says, what are you talking about? He said, I didn't spit in your face, which where the dementia kicks in. Senior Helper says it's always looking for good caregivers. If you're interested in the work or if you need help with your loved one, you can call 424-2280. The company says Alzheimer's is a growing epidemic with already 50% of Americans knowing someone who has the disease. Pam Elliott, 2 News, on your side.